Hello, this is Noreen Crone Finlay, and I am the author of Innovative Weaving on the Frame Loom. So it has just come out. I just received my box of copies of the book, and I wanted to show you uh, a few of the things that are in the book. Now, this is one of my most favorite things in the book. It is a kimono coat that um, I wove using the three um, Shark Looms uh, kindly provided their three easel weavers in the 6, 8 and 10 inch size. And um, Folkwear Patterns I it supplied me with patterns for the book because I wanted to show people that no matter what size looms you use, whether they're absolutely little looms like these wonderful easel weavers and, and other frame looms, um, that you can weave full-size garments. Now, I've been using folkwear patterns for all of my adult life, and um, I absolutely love them. And I wanted to weave a kimono for the kimono style jacket for the... Um, uh, frame loom weaving book and uh, because I wanted to combine a bunch of different um, techniques for in the book now you can see that the uh, lapels and the um, hem and cuffs and pockets are done uh, using tapestry technique but I also wanted to now she doesn't show up too well but she does yes you can see her I wanted to do um, uh, free form weaving on the loom because I want to show people that here's another free form figure and the patterns uh, for making these freeform figures are in the book and complete instructions for how to do all these different uh, techniques are in the book. Here's more tapestry weaving. Here is um, clasped weft weaving. And let's spin her around. Here's a whole circle of those dancing figures, and this shows the clasped weft weaving really well. And here's um, houndstooth, and more of the, the... There's a bunch of techniques that I show in the book that are really useful for uh, maximizing the, the, the kinds of weaving that you can do on your frame looms. So let's just show a few more of the dancing figures. And this coat, I, um, whoops, she makes funny sounds when she spins around. So this coat, I wear three seasons of the year and occasionally on a cold summer evening too. So I made it extra large so that I can put um, lots of other uh, um, warm things on under it because we live in uh, Western Canada and it can be really cold here. Ugh. But that's the joy of having warm and cozy wonderful things. Okay, I'm going to stop the camera right now and show you a few more things from the book. Here is another folkwear pattern. This is one of my favorites. This is the Tibetan panel coat. Let me just show you over here. There we go. Also from folkwear. Now one thing that I uh, need to mention is that sometimes in uh, folk and traditional garments they don't have pockets and for me life without pockets is just not on and so I um, added pockets to both this and the previous jacket the kimono jacket that you saw one of the things that I have uh, done in the book is I wanted to show people you can see here how to translate, let's see where some of the other ones are, how to translate four harness weaving drafts into uh, patterns that you can use on your, um, on your uh, frame looms. 
Now, sometimes you have to be sneaky, like with these key patterns. This is actually, um, I blew up a, uh, um, what's the name, uh, a uh, four harness pattern because I just couldn't make it work um, as uh, um, by lifting and lowering threads. So I did it as a tapestry technique. So that's kind of fun and sneaky, a uh, good way of doing it. And there's the dragon motif again. And the um, these patterns are all in the book for the dragons and these key techniques. Here's more of the... Um, I call it faux for, faux, faux for harness weaving. And here's the dragon, larger on the back, and more of the faux for harness weaving, and more simple. Oh dear, I should have ironed this before I put it on Patient Zilla. It's been uh, packed away in a suitcase waiting to come out for the book to be, um, the book to be released. Um, let's see, what else can I say? Oh, yes, and um, here are some traveling line techniques clasp and more clasped weft weaving. So the book is full of, and again, more tapestry techniques. All these patterns are in the book. You're going to want to order this book. It's available worldwide and it is full of wonderfulness and you can also order it into your uh, local bookshop so that you can support your local bookshop. Okay, I'm going to turn off and go get some other things to show you. One of the things that I designed for the book that I absolutely love is this lace scarf, shawl, wrap. It's just magical. Um, while I was writing the book, Shack Looms were um, having their uh, 50th anniversary and they put out a special celebration yarn. And so I um, asked uh, uh, if I could have uh, one of the yarn kits for the book and Jane Patrick very kindly supplied me with one. Now, the this uh, is a knotting technique that I know um, it, it, knotting is ancient um, <laughs> you know people have been doing it since the beginning of time but it's this particular way that I uh, used for the for the um, on the frame loom it, I hadn't seen it done quite like this before and I'm thrilled with it. I just love it. Now, the thing is that's so neat about this um, lace is that it can be, it gives you a garment. I show in the book about, oh gosh, a dozen different ways that you can wear this uh, scarf, shawl, wrap. It's, uh, it's wonderful. It's great. It'd be great for traveling because it scrunches up into almost no space at all. And yet, surprisingly, uh, when done with uh, wool and a combination of wool and silk and things like this is, it's actually quite warm, which is quite surprising. If you did it with cotton, um, it would be very light and lacy. It would make a wonderful uh, bride's veil. So... That's another one of my favorite things from the book. I'll show you another scarf. We'll go back to dragons, uh, the tapestry dragon motif that I used a lot in the book. Here's the lace uh, scarf shawl wrap um, opened up and wrapped around patient Zilla. So you can see that um, it really does open up quite beautifully. Here are the dragons on the dragon scarf. And there are all kinds of interesting techniques here uh, in different uh, squares that, um, uh, that make up the, uh, the dragon scarf so that uh, you're going to again get the absolute maximum from your frame loom weaving. And you may not have known this, but it took me a while to figure it out. But you can also weave triangles on your frame looms. So, yay! 
Now, one of the things I've also noticed is that as soon as I start shooting a video, the uh, I get I start everything goes mad. The the dogs usually start barking, the phone rings, the doorbell rings, and messengers uh, messages start beeping through. So you've probably been hearing little beeps and bops in the background, and that's just part of the joy of making videos here. So anyhow, it's a wonderful scarf. I think you're going to love. If you love dragons, then you're going to love this scarf. Here is more of the knotted lace technique, this time using heavier yarn and um, made into a cowl, which can also be worn uh, over your head to keep your head warm or just around your neck, whichever you prefer. So that's, uh, I, I love this. I love this cowl. Again, it's uh, light and airy, but uh, quite cozy to wear too. So I'm going to make a separate video showing uh, uh, people who know my work know that I absolutely love bags and uh, also um, other uh, small, wonderful things. So I'm going to make uh, two more videos showing uh, one showing bags and one showing dolls and uh, small gifts. So those will be coming soon. But for now, this is the first in uh, the, the sneak peek into Innovative Weaving on the Frame Loom by Noreen Crone-Findlay. That's me. Big hugs. Talk to you soon.